Alright, so the video is a little bit late today. I apologize for that. My daughter did not want to go to bed. Uh, but I did finish welding all this up. Uh, it was a lot of running back and forth down the hole and into the refinery and into the, the cargo container at least and queuing things up in the assembler and not having enough materials to finish it. Um, so I'm sure you didn't miss a whole lot by virtue of the fact that I did that off camera. Uh, but I have not actually tested it yet. So we're going to do that now and hopefully it won't explode. I think we'll start by turning the drill on. I don't know what it thinks it's drilling into up there, throwing all that stuff off, but anyway. So we've got the extender piston, which is this one over here. And we've got the retractor piston, which is this one back here. So we need to pull one down and push the other one up. And we're going to do that fairly slowly. So we're going to go to point one, and we'll have to reverse that for it to actually do anything. But we're going to set this in advance just so that it's uh, ready to go when I hit reverse, minus point one. And yeah, this will be going at point two in total because both pistons will be moving simultaneously. All right, fingers crossed. Here we go. So one piston is going down, one piston is going up, and nope, it's just exploding and falling apart. Fantastic. Not sure why that happened. I'm not sure how this is still spinning. So we lost our rotor somehow. I'm really not sure how that happened. Oh, cool. That's helpful. Got the computer. Got the motors. I don't remember how many I needed. I think I needed three. panel, and the advanced rotor, renumber it, and small head, technically need 10 large steel tubes, but sort of not really. Oh, well, that might be part of the problem. Well, that is a problem. That's a large conveyor port, and we've only got small ones here. <coughs> Did not plan for that. So, we will need... No, not that. A conveyor junction. Huh. 
you know what? I'm just gonna do this the material intensive way. Because that wasn't gonna work. I didn't notice that before. So there's going to be a lot more materials that go into this because it is a large grid drill. It means we need 175 steel plates still and a bunch of other stuff. the extras for something. I think there was 12 of those, 5 of these, and other stuff. Twenty more construction components, five motors. I don't need the motors. I will remove the motors from the queue. But we do need all that stuff. And we need a lot more stone. So yeah, I'm not sure why that exploded on me. I mean, it wasn't going to work because I was trying to match up a small conveyor port on the drill with a large conveyor port on the rotor head. Um, I did actually drill the bottom of this, like I made it a little bit steeper going down because I was coming in, you see my original hole ended there, I was way above the magnesium, I'm still way above the magnesium. So I'm actually going to go back here and drill from this point. <laughs> So this episode's probably just going to be consumed with me running back and forth up and down this hole to fix this. And I also forgot to start my clock, so I don't know how long it's going to end up being. We'll just go until this works, I guess. And I will hopefully be able to continue recording such that, uh... I can definitely release tomorrow's video on schedule. And then hopefully in tomorrow's video we'll actually get around to doing the... This is going to take longer if I do it this way, but I started this one so I'm going to at least pop this stuff in here. Get around to doing the... Rover. Yeah, this is basically what the, uh, <laughs> the off-camera work was, was running up and down the hole and drumming stone in the refinery. But at least in this one, we only have one part left to build. And it's a lot easier to count up the resources you need for one part than it is for all those conveyor tubes and everything else, so... This is a little bit less tedious than... What I didn't record was to, to watch. Although there's a whole lot of steel plates going into this drill, which is why I was trying to do the small grid one to start with. Mm -hmm. 
I'm relatively sure it's possible to put a small grid drill on the end of this contraption, but I clearly did it wrong. I'm sure anybody watching my videos has already seen the videos by Splitzy. I will have to re-watch his videos to see how he did it, because I'm pretty sure he did it right and I'm doing it wrong. has worked. Mine exploded. But the whole purpose of this is so we don't have to do this anymore to get our basic materials. We can just use that and it will do it all automatically for us. The drilling and the uh, collecting and uh, sticking it in the refinery and all that will happen in one smooth and automated motion rather than me needing to do it here like this manually and grindily. The other advantage to drilling out like this and making the floor a little bit deeper is we know we've got enough room to stand up, which is nice. How are we doing here? If it starts producing more than one or two construction components at a time or starts producing some of the other stuff that we need, well, no, we have all of our steel plates. I don't remember how many are in there already and how many I still need. I'm pretty sure we're getting close, though. Not as close as I thought we were. And we still got quite a few to go. This thing should hopefully get to the magnesium from the top instead of from the side like we're coming at it now. I could edit this out, but I am using Shotcut for video editing. If anybody has any suggestions of better video editing software, I am all ears. And it takes a little while to edit video even if I'm just cutting stuff out. Not so much the editing itself, but the encoding the video afterwards. So if I can do it all in one take and get it to work properly, then that is the ideal. I wouldn't really call it a complaint that I have about other YouTubers, but I do notice that a lot of this more tedious stuff they do tend to cut out, which is part of the reason why I cut out the, the welding together of the, the drill there. But now you're getting to see how the sausage is made, at least part of it.
purpose of drilling like this, as I mentioned, is to try to come at that magnesium from the side, because if we have to walk in and then drill straight down, we need our jetpack to get back up. And that is not ideal. Well, looks like we're done. Alright. Let's try this again. Drill on. All right, it doesn't look like it's running into something this time. That's a good start. Now, reverse. Not exploding, that's good. Ice to start with. That looks like it's actually working this time without exploding. Which is good. Ice. Lots of ice. Oh my god, lots of ice. Probably more ice than we can handle. Enough ice that I'm gonna have to put an H2 or an O2H2 generator on here. Yep, more ice than we can handle. I'm gonna have to put an O2H2 generator on here and uh. There we go, we're getting into the stone. At least that means we didn't fill everything up, otherwise it wouldn't have enough room to pull stone in. But yeah, I'm gonna have to put an O2H2 generator and a hydrogen tank on here just to store all that. Which is fine. We're gonna want to do that eventually, anyway. Still getting stone. No, it looks like we're not. So you can see how much we pulled in there. We got 65,000 kilograms of ice, a whole bunch of stone to go with it, and now we've got 2,000 iron. We're not even done refining the stone. stone on our way back up, just kind of scraping the sides here. But there's our hole in the ground. They work pretty well, second time around anyway. It might have even worked better. I don't know if we actually did fill up all of our cargo capacity at any point, but we weren't able to do anything with this ice because we don't have an O2H2 generator uh, attached here. 
So all the ice is just kind of sitting in cargo now. And it filled up our small cargo container and started to fill up our drill. So there might have been more stone down there that we just drilled away and wasted by virtue of the fact that we didn't have cargo space to store it before it went into the refinery. So we'll turn the drill off. And I'm definitely going to need to build an O2H2 generator before I try to do anything further here. Now, we have plenty of iron to work with. So I am going to make some more steel plates up. So I can expand our platform a little bit. And on that expanded platform, I am going to place an O2H2 generator as soon as I can find it. There it is. Now, this one has conveyor ports on the front and back, towards the bottom, and on the bottom and the top. Um, for the sake of conserving space, though, I'm going to put it here, just like that. Now, we need a bunch more stuff. Uh, looks like 105 steel plates. Five construction components, two steel tubes. Four motors, five computers. Got the motors. We might as well go ahead and do the extra 10 steel plates. Because we are not hurting for resources anymore. You can see that's just cooking right along. Now, the assembler's pulling in the iron from the refinery kind of as it's needed with a little bit of cushion there. So most of our iron is still sitting in the refinery. And I think we will have enough to finish this. Lots of gravel. We're going to need more, more cargo space, that's for sure. There we go. That's all that. Well, this is going to take in a bunch of the ice. But it's not actually going to do anything with it because there's nowhere to put the, the hydrogen at this point. So we pulled some of the ice out of the drill here. We've got more room in the drill, but we're not actually doing anything with this at this point. So what we are going to have to do next is build ourselves a hydrogen tank. Now this one has conveyor ports on all four sides, the top and the bottom can't really see the one on the top, but that's all right. You don't need to. Trust me, it's there. <laughs> and we're going to place this one just like that. And we need a steel plate to start it. We're going to need 160 altogether, so I might as well get those started. At some point, it will probably behoove me to arrange things a little bit more neatly. But for the time being, I'm just trying to get stuff together. This will do for now. In addition to the steel plates, we need 80 large steel tubes and 60 small steel tubes. We've got some of the smalls. We need 8 computers. And... I think those construction components are extra. So anyway, we need 36 small steel tubes now. What was it? 80? Yeah, 80 large steel tubes. And 
eight computers. See how much easier this is when we don't have to run up and down the hole for a stone every 30 seconds? Although we might run out of iron here pretty soon. Hopefully we'll have enough to finish this. I think we will. Might be close, but I think we will. Yeah, because we only need 60 f and change. And we've got... Ooh, this is going to be close. <laughs> We're going to need to go actually drill manually to extend the drill. We didn't have enough for all the, the large steel tubes. We are short 48 of them. Well, let's see if we can get the drill to do it. We'll try this anyway. We might pick up enough stone. We're not going to pick up a whole bunch of ice this time, though, because we've already drilled through the ice layer. Pick up some scrape in the side, but... Not nearly as much as we did. So our cargo container's still full. <laughs> can see our volume here in the drill is going up and it's not going anywhere because there's nowhere for it to go and we're still just getting ice but we've got a decent amount of cargo capacity in here this is actually our largest <laughs> cargo container right now is the drill that's one of the advantages to using the large grid drill is that it does have a decent amount of cargo capacity in it even at realistic levels and we're not picking up a whole lot but we will get some stone doing that too and hopefully it will be enough stone to make enough iron to finish our remaining. Oh, that's 480. I couldn't see the four because the capacity on the background. Yeah, that's that's a decent amount of iron that we still need. We'll see if that works. There we go. Starting to get some stone. Waiting, we might as well go help it along. And we will at some point want to join these holes together, too. Yeah, we can't stick it in the cargo container because the cargo container is full. And yeah, it looks like we didn't get very much stone there. Oh well. Pull it back up. That is the downside of landing in Tundra and having all this ice, is that if you don't have anything to do with it, it's going to take up a lot of cargo space. Learn from my mistakes, people. Learn from my mistakes.
figured I'd put some of these interior plates in here because they're not doing us any good. Sitting in cargo. Well, now we have nowhere to put them. Stick them in here somewhere. That'll work. Twenty-three more. Those large steel tubes take up a decent amount of resources. They're ten iron ingots each. Back and forth and back and forth. Got a lot done on the one drill, don't get me wrong. There's just a lot more to do. I'm right about those construction components being extra functional. So you, so now you can see the O2H2 generators chewing through the ice. It's gonna take a while to get through it all. We've got a lot of ice here, and we can watch our hydrogen tank filling. All right, well, I don't know how long I've run here exactly because I forgot to start my clock, but I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short here, and uh, I will go ahead and record the next video right now, um, and it'll be released tomorrow at the usual time. Um, and in the next video, we will be extending this piston contraption so that we can go a little bit deeper and get some more stone, um, and probably building some extra drills after that when we start getting more resources in because the pistons are relatively cheap, the drills are not. So we'll, we'll add a piston so we can go deeper, and then once we do that, we'll pull it back up and add some drills on the side here so that we can go wider and get more stuff. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed it. And uh, even if you didn't, this was not the, the most thrilling of episodes. It involved a lot of running in and out of the hole and building things that were supposed to be working already but were actually not working because they blew up for some reason I've yet to understand. But anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.